I want to talk about the NBN because this week leaked documents seem to reveal that the government's NBN rollout is running behind schedule. And the reason that's a worry is because not only could it be late, it's not even the NBN that most of us wanted. That's something we should talk about. We have a strong and credible broadband policy because the man who's devised it, the man who will implement it, virtually invented the internet in this country. Thank you so much, Malcolm Turnbull. All right, two things. First, Malcolm Turnbull invented the internet in this country as much as I invented long-winded TV rants in this country. We didn't invent it, but we don't mind accepting praise from people who think we did. Second, Malcolm Turnbull's strong and credible broadband plan mightn't be as amazing as Tony would have us believe. But don't take my word for it, here's one of the guys who actually pioneered the internet in Australia. If we're going to be the nation of innovation, well, we shouldn't go for the cheap and error-prone solution. He says that because when Labor first started rolling out the NBN, we were promised fibre connections directly to our homes, which would cost $45 billion to be finished by 2021 and offer speeds of up to one gigabyte per second. NBN is the biggest infrastructure project this nation has ever undertaken. However, when Tony Abbott won the 2013 election, he knew that with a few changes... Under the coalition, you'll have much, much faster broadband much more quickly and much more affordably than under the current government. And what Tony and Malcolm Turnbull, as then Communications Minister, delivered was a multi-technology mixed national broadband network, or MTM NBN, WTF. Instead of future-proofing the country with an end-to-end -end fibre network, we would use a bit of copper, we'd use a bit of HFC, we'd use some satellites, we'd use some wireless towers, we'd have this mongrel network this so-called mongrel network would see investment in fibre to the node, where fibre runs to a box or a node on your street before it bottlenecks to a maximum speed of between 25 and 50 megabits per second on copper wire to your home, which was meant to be finished by 2019. Now, Consumer Group Choice says that under Labor's broadband, you could have downloaded an HD copy of a film in about 30 seconds. Now, under the coalition plan, you'll have to wait 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, well, it... Well, eat. Sorry to interrupt the thing that you do. Um, what film did they download? They didn't download anything, mate. It's just an example. Oh. Yeah. Can I see my popcorn? <laughs> you want some? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Five second rule, you should eat those. <laughs> Instead of Labor's $45 billion plan, the Coalition's NBN would cost $29.5 billion. But after the election, that went up to $41 billion. And then up again, as high as $56 billion. They also changed their estimated delivery date from 2019 to 2020, which is just one year before Labor's deadline. So now, instead of having much, much faster broadband, much more quickly and much more affordably. We'll have much slower internet, which will cost about $10 billion more, but we'll get it one year sooner than Labor. Now, understandably, the guy who set up the company responsible for delivering the NBN is more put out about this than Carl and Lisa were when Leland Chin and I were nominated for a gold Logie. And they weren't. Lisa's too white. Is that it? That's it? I got a spray tan and everything. We're going to see uh, applications emerge, uh, which today we don't know about. And the good thing about a fibre-based NBN is that it has got enormous amounts of capacity. Unlike copper-based, it's just such a pity that we're no longer building such a network. <laughs> the, the problem here is that despite the latest figures showing the amount of data downloaded by Australians increased by 40%, from June 2014 to June 2015, the Abbott slash Turnbull government has never demonstrated that they value the need for high-speed internet, which is ironic because Tony Abbott is the only human to have ever had buffering issues in real life. If it's out of context, what is the context? <laughs> You're not saying anything, Tony. Now, it's not like Labor's model was without fault. Critics point out that it was way behind schedule and coalition modelling estimates that Labor's plan would cost almost double the $45 billion quoted, coming in at around $80 billion. It was running about 12 months behind schedule. It certainly wasn't running uh, over budget by anything like the numbers that uh, were talked about. But look, the biggest infrastructure projects in this country's history were built with the future in mind. The, the Snowy Mountain Scheme was built to last hundreds of years. The Sydney Harbour Bridge was built with eight lanes, not two. 
But now, as we enter Malcolm Turnbull's age of innovation, and we're told the NBN is the most important infrastructure project of the 21st century, we're expected to rely on a decaying copper network that experts say is already past its use-by date, instead of investing in fibre, which the same experts say could service our internet needs for the next hundred years. By turning the NBN into a political football, Australia's global rankings for internet speed has slipped from 30th a few years ago to this week being ranked 60th in the world. So if you're watching this right now on the internet and you had to wait for even a second for this video to buffer, you know who to blame. Tony Abbott and the guy who he says invented the internet.